All right, we got a new cover here ready to install on the foam cushion. As you can see, all this Velcro here sewn onto your new cover is going to correspond to the Velcro built into the foam cushion. So just take this, this new cover inside out and just kind of line up all that Velcro because that Velcro is what's going to be hold, holding down your seam lines tight. So you just kind of look around there. You then go ahead and make, line up that Velcro, make sure it's straight. Inside here. This can be able to kind of stretch around on you so you can manipulate it in whichever way you want it. All right, now to recover, the easiest way is to start at one corner. I start at the front, kind of closest to the steering wheel. And with, your, with one hand, go ahead and push in that foam. With the other hand, kind of roll it over. Do the same with the other side. Come to the back, go ahead and roll down the sides. Right the back. Go ahead and roll the carpet around here on the back. Turn it over. Now we're just going to do the series of clips that we did just like we were taking them off. So go ahead and start at the front horseshoe clip. I think it's the easiest. Go ahead and flip that over. Then I start right in the center of the seat here with this horseshoe clip. Go ahead and push down on the seat pan and you can compress that foam, kind of making it easier to stretch around. Again, being careful of those sharp edges. And then just work your way around one side. And then the other. There we go. <clears throat> Next thing you do is one of the, the back clips. You can go ahead and compress that foam again. Just roll that clip over. couple more clips on the side and then with the 2000 and 2000 through 2002 with that seat belt that runs through the cover you're gonna have a little one of the plastic clips is gonna be sewn on here just like that go ahead and feed it down through the hole where that seat belt goes push it out of here and right here is what you want to do is Feed it through that hole that's cut in the carpet and then back to this side hole right here. There you go, all the clips are done. Go ahead and flip it over. Make sure all your Velcro lines are pressed down firmly and you got a good fit. And now it's time to put this back onto the seat. We've already went ahead and cleaned the top of the existing seat. That way to match up with the, the, the new cover on the bottom we just did. For that video, please check it out on our website. Now it's ready to put this seat pan with the new cover back onto the seat frame. And what you have, the first thing you're going to do is these two posts right here are going to line up in two grooves that are already on the seat frame. All right, so you go ahead and move it over here to our seat frame. Go ahead and feed that wire down that connects to the floorboard. Get those two pegs lined up in those two grooves. You'll be able to see it down there. And go ahead and wiggle it down and push it until these two top threaded posts come through those two holes. And then you take your two nuts, your 13 millimeter nuts or half inch. Go ahead and lightly thread those on because we are going to have to put on that lumbar knob here in a minute. 
So just get them lightly threaded. Go ahead and hit all your electrical connections that you took off before. And now it's time to make that cut for the side and for the electrical panel. All of our covers will come without that hole cut in the side for the different power options. The reason being is there are so many different power options for the side of this configuration that we'd have to stock 10, 10 times as many covers that we do. But in the 2000 and 2002, there is a seam line that is run down the side of this. Now we, we is what we do is we go ahead and start a hole right here. That way we can finish this seam line and then start it again with knotted on both sides so you're not cutting through the seam line and then it'll allow the stitching to unravel. So well, I always tell people this is kind of just like a haircut. You're going to want to start small and if you need to cut more, go ahead and do it. And you'll be able to hold that panel up right here on the side and kind of get a general idea of, of where you need to cut. But just look in there, start small, don't go too fast, and you should be good. You'll be able to look in there and kind of see where those screws go. Again, cutting around that stitching line as opposed to cutting through it. And go ahead and line it up just to see if you cut enough. Looks like I still need to cut a little bit farther back. Still a little bit more, but again, just take your time and go slow. All right, that should do it. Go ahead and connect that one electrical clip. Sometimes it's a little easier to flip it on its side. And you'll come back with those four long screws once you kind of get it set. There it is. You'll feel it kind of snap down in there. You don't want to crank on these too tight because you can break that plastic panel. So just get it on there nice and snug. Alrighty. One last step here before we put the knob back in, connect the cable to it, and then the plastic panel on the side is go ahead and take that seat belt, feed it down through that hole in the cover, put it back on that post, again taking that three quarter inch socket, just go ahead and ratchet it tight. 